Hey guys, what's going on? You're in the secret level here with Gerns, and at last we have the Universal Invasion slash Event Arena Let's Build. Now first, before we actually get to the building, I wanted to say that I've tested several different setups for this arena and found this one to be the best overall. You can do invasions and events AFK here, but I recommend using a weapon as well as it significantly speeds up your farming. You also don't need this many traps. I just went kind of ham with this farm since I had extra. In the let's build, I will be using much less, but feel free to add in more wherever you want if you have them. Also, this setup is great if you want to get it started early on in pre-hard mode. You can set it up as a basic lava trap with a sky bridge and maybe a little tunnel underneath for convenience. Then later, you can add in wiring and geyser traps and the rest as you collect it. So you can do every invasion here guys, and the different moon events, including blood moons of course. And you can also use it as a farm for things like demon eyes, for the lenses, or werewolves. And lastly, you can incorporate the Dungeons Defenders 2 content here as well if you want. I didn't bother as I will be making a separate farm for that event considering it works much differently. Alright, so the items you'll need for the arena are some temple traps, geyser traps for earlier on, a monster spawning statue, preferably a weaker one like a slime statue, some conveyor belts, 8 1 second timers, 7 player activating pressure plates, 2 monster activating pressure plates, 6 teleporters, 2 levers, 1 switch, a heart lantern, a campfire, some actuators, and a lot of wire. And also a few buckets of honey and lava. Okay, so let's build this thing. The first thing you're going to want to do is flatten out a decent sized area here, more or less large enough so that it stretches a little bit past either side of your screen. Now once you have that done, you're going to want to build the base of the farm. So start throwing down some conveyor belt, enough so that it goes right to the edge of your screen basically. Then throw down two teleporters separated by maybe six or seven blocks of space. As well as a layer of block underneath the conveyor belt which you can put in first if you want. Now you're going to want to build a little barrier on either side here, right next to the conveyor belts, with eight, another teleporter on each side as well. Now just throw down a pathway of block here, leaving one open space between it and the conveyor belt. And throw in a couple rows of platforms between the two middle teleporters. Now just build yourself a little sky bridge above. Now if it's earlier in the game, or if you just feel like it, you can throw down a couple geyser traps here. Now you'll want to build the area where you sit. So you'll want to make it so that it has three chambers, each one three blocks of space wide and four blocks of space tall. For the top part, you can use more conveyor belt. In 
inside the middle one, you'll put a teleporter and another teleporter on the left side or the right side, wherever you want basically, is to get in and out. And in the left chamber, a lever and a switch, as well as a heart lamp and a star in a bottle too if you want. And the slime statue on top of the teleporter, as well as the campfire and a one second timer on the right side. Now you can throw a whole bunch of other things down here for convenience if you want. I like to have these things as I use different builds set up sometimes when I'm in this farm. Alright, now it's time to start setting up your traps. On the top here, I'll be using five columns of spear traps. Each of them have a length of seven spear traps each. Now I'm assuming you have a whole bunch of spiky ball traps as well, so I generally use those down at the bottom area here. As well as a bit on the sides here, it's really up to you how many you put here and kind of where you put them as well. You don't have to follow it exactly as I do. Now also, I'm assuming you'll have some super dark traps and some flame traps, so I generally put them just kind of around the sides of my area here, as well as some on the bottom too. These ones on either side of your little safe area are somewhat important though because they protect you from some of the more tankier flying monsters. Now once you're done setting up all your traps, I recommend throwing in a whole bunch of torches on some platforms all over the place. It gets pretty dark during those moon events, so having a bunch of torches all over the place can help out quite a bit. Okay, so now that you've got your lighting all set up, now it's time to set up the wiring, which can be a little bit tricky, guys. So if you make a couple mistakes while you're doing that, don't worry about it. I usually make a few mistakes myself when I'm wiring it up. Just correct any little mistakes you may have made once you notice them. So first, you're going to want to set up a little platform, and underneath that, seven smaller platforms, more or less side by side, that are two blocks of space each. As you can see here, and on them, you will put the seven one second timers on the outsides and the seven pressure plates on the inside. Now you can connect the one second timer in your safe area to the slime statue. And your teleporter to the little switch. And now you're going to want to connect the lever to the bottom pathway and add in some wire and actuators to the entire bottom pathway. And also connect your teleporter to the teleporter on the outside. I generally like to use red wire for these things. It makes it easier for when you're wiring up your traps. Alright, now I'll just throw on a whole bunch of another colored wire on the bottom traps there. I used blue and some actuators on all the traps as well.
and connect all the bottom traps together. Now for the top traps up here, I use blue, green, yellow, blue, green, yellow, and blue, starting from top to bottom. And then what you want to do is connect each row of spear traps to a separate one second timer. as well as all the traps on the bottom, you can connect to the same one second timer. All right, so you're gonna to wanna to add in more actuators on these top traps here. Make sure all the traps have actuators on them, and then just turn on the one second timer for one round to actuate them, then turn it off, and do that for each row until all the traps are actuated. Once they're all actuated like this, then you can just remove all the actuators from them. Now you're going to want to throw on the monster pressure plates. I use yellow pressure plates on the teleporters on the outsides of the arena and connect them to the teleporters on the bottom middle of your arena. Also if you threw down geyser traps don't forget to connect those as well. Now add in your honey to the chamber with the slime statue and the teleporter. Now add in the lava on the bottom row here. You'll need three buckets, one on the left, one in the middle, and one on the right, all quickly done together. Otherwise the lava will disappear. Now if you've built this arena anywhere other than right next to your base, which you probably have, You'll need to build a little chamber underneath to have an NPC moved in, otherwise invasions will not progress. Alright guys, so that's everything. Now we just turn the farm on like so, maybe put on a little buff there, and we teleport ourselves into the middle here, and click this one second timer here to summon these slimes, that will keep us invulnerable. And I also should mention, do not wear the solar armor while you're in this farm, otherwise you will automatically kill those very important slimes, who prevent you from taking a much larger larger damage and then summon whatever invasion or event you want. Now, once again, you can use this arena AFK if you want. However, I do highly recommend using a weapon to speed up the farming process. Generally, I like to start with the Daedalus Stormbow, but you might want to be careful of what types of arrows you use as some of them will destroy the slimes, like holy arrows for example. And then eventually, once I get the loot, I use the Razor Pine, which is an absolutely amazing weapon in this farm. However, there are other great weapons that you can use, like yo-yos for example as well. 
Alright guys, so here we are back at my original arena in my main world with the excessive amount of traps. Again, you really don't need this many traps guys, but if you do have the extra traps and you want to throw in a couple more than we did in the let's build, then feel free to maybe throw down a couple more spear traps underneath you and some more traps around you as well. So just in case you're somebody that wants to do that, here is a screenshot of this particular farm's wiring. I know it is quite complicated, but that's what happens when you have this many different traps separately connected. Okay, so also guys, I know this farm was a bit more of a difficult one to set up, so if you've run into any issues setting it up and you're not sure how to get through it, feel free to leave a comment and I will do my best to help you out. Also, if you didn't have any issues and you just like the farm, feel free to leave a comment about that as well. <laughs> Anyways guys, that's the video. I have many other videos to work on. I am a little bit behind unfortunately, so I have to go. But be sure to leave a like if the video helped. That always makes me feel awesome. And if you're new to the channel, then be sure to hit that subscribe button and join us here in the secret level. We have an awesome little community growing here. We have an amazing Discord server where all the secret levelers get together and chat, share different screenshots, there's ranks. Tons of awesome little Terraria emojis and more. There are also many more great Terraria farm guides and tip videos in the channel that you'll probably want to check out. And we also do live streams all the time. We are currently in the middle of our Hardcore Expert Series live stream where we are getting ready to fight Duke Fishron. That's right, we got all the way up to, so far at least, Duke Fishron on Hardcore Expert. Meaning I can't even die once, otherwise I have to start all over again from the very beginning. Alright guys, I hope to catch you in the next stream, so remember to keep on leveling, and this is Gerns exiting the secret level. Take it easy.